Good morning, everyone. It is a brisk Saturday morning here in Southwest Michigan, 26 degrees this morning. I'm just out walking my property, so I thought I would do episode two of our habitat improvement plan. And I wanted to talk about my three main priorities for this year to help improve my habitat. So All right, the first priority can kind of be summarized as make the deer feel like they're not being hunted. Uh, a couple different ways I need to do that. This stand, we're gonna talk about a couple different things with it. This is the one in my south, sorry, my northwest corner where it's on a little food plot um, right at the edge of my swamp. Great spot. This is a really good um, just kind of gateway to my property coming from the neighbors this way. But a couple problems with it. One, I'm accessing probably too far deep into my property. And by me just getting in here and hunting this, um, I'm probably spooking more deer than I even know. The second issue is this stand sticks out like a sore thumb. So it did originally when I put it up here and then I attempted to do some of the uh, camo, you know, burlap and stuff to just cover my silhouette and hope that the deer would get used to it. Um, they kind of did, but they definitely know it's here. I have a whole bunch of pictures of deer walking. If we go back here, I cut kind of a shooting lane so I could reach to this swamp transition line, kind of right here. This is a big main travel corridor and I get a ton of pictures of deer literally standing right here looking at that stand and not going into the food plot and just keep walking on by. Uh, bucks, mature does, bunch of different stuff. So this stand has to go um, and no more camo tarps or camo burlap for me. And I've, I've hunted some properties where a stand like this uh, is okay. I've seen uh, deer walk by stands like this and not have an issue with it. I know people that have shot deer out of stands like this. But on my property, the deer are definitely telling me that they don't like this. So this has to go. We're going to move it further to the east, down along my east line. It's pretty much going to go straight back to the east where kind of my dry land meets the flooded timber. All right, here's that other stand. We're down kind of where my swamp turns, if you want to call this the southwest corner of my swamp. Now this stand was not this naked before. This one actually tucked in really nice. This is just where I've basically finished hinge cutting. Um, so I've knocked down a bunch of trees around it. I didn't knock this one down just because I wasn't gonna take this stand down quite yet. But this stand, another example, it's a great stand. There's a really good trail that comes kind of from where the swamp turns and deer filter through here. And we've got another small food plot. I get a lot of pictures here. There's definitely a lot of deer that use this right here close to the transition line. It's just too deep for me to access. The access that I have to basically come through, which I did a little hinge cutting down through there, but all this, it grows up really tall with grass. And even me trying to make trails, spray trails, maintain some, um, I'm really cutting off, you know, the whole Southern end of my property and laying down a big scent trail when I try to get in here. I haven't figured out a good way to use the creek that's back behind here to maybe try to access this from, um, but again, a lot of deer move through the swamp right back there. I think even me trying to do that just isn't gonna work. So this stand's coming down. This one's gonna move um, kind of the same thing as the other one. We're just gonna move it straight down to the east, kind of where this swamp meets the flooded timber, meets the high ground. A lot of this right here I haven't done yet, but this is the southern end of that swamp where it turns. Um, this is all gonna be bedding as well and hinge cutting. So that stand's gonna kind of be down on the end of that. All right, kind of the final piece of make this property and make the deer feel like they're not being hunted is I gotta do something with this box blind. So I love this. Um, it's a great spot for my wife, my dad, my brother who come out. They don't hunt very much. They wanna be comfortable. They kind of wanna sit on the food plot easy to see deer, um, but the deer just have not adapted well to this. And I know there's properties, I've hunted some, where you can stick a redneck blind out in the middle of a food plot and deer don't care. That's awesome, if that's your property, then you can leave it as is. But I have got to brush this blind in and I've got to do some screening in front of it. So what I ended up doing, 
I bought a whole bunch of fake Christmas trees and garland from Menards at the end of uh, January when everything was on sale from Christmas. Um, so I'm gonna use those and I'm gonna brush this blind in with those, stick them on there. I've got some brush piled up a little bit here and then I've got a whole bunch of willows planted all in front of this blind. Um, they're all actually doing really well and I'll do a separate video on those, but I've gotta just cover this up and just make it make it feel like it's not just your stereotypical Mich Michigan box blind sitting in the middle of a food plot. All right, so priority number two for my property is cover. Um, that big orange area that I talked about in the first video on the you know habitat improvement um, map that I drew of my property. So that orange area is kind of my biggest work area for this year. Um, and this is kind of the start of it. We were pretty close to that, that tree stand that's up in my northwest corner. So this is kind of where all that cover starts moving along the swamp transition line. Um, and I'll do a separate video and kind of take you guys on like a little mini tour through this and show you where some deer are bedding, where some deer aren't. But essentially getting that big orange area done is probably my biggest work priority for this year. I've got for the most part the transition line on the west side of my property that runs north and south i've got that pretty much done um and then i've got to kind of round the corner down on the southern end and then do the middle so we're probably a third of the way done uh deer are using it there's areas they're bedding that they didn't there's a lot of other areas they're transitioning through and then there's some areas particularly right in here that i wanted them to hopefully bed um, and i thought there were some good spots but they're not using it so Again, I'm gonna save that for another video, but item number two, get cover. Hopefully deer will use it for bedding. If they don't, nothing else. They'll feel more comfortable, spend more time transitioning through my property. All right, and the third thing, third thing on my priority list is screening this food plot. So right now, you guys can probably tell, it's just not screened very well. Um, I've got some hinge cuts over here that are okay, but overall this food plot, especially when the leaves fall, is just not screened very well. So I knocked down, you can kind of see, I knocked down a bunch of trees on my south end just to get some more sunlight in here. So I'm hoping that will help just some natural growth pop up around the edges. Um, I also planted the other week some, let's see if I got any right here. I split a big ornamental grass and I split it up into kind of softball sized chunks and I sprinkled those kind of all around the perimeter. My soil is really wet, as you can see. So I want to try some, maybe some of the Northwoods plot screen. Um, I just don't know how that does in wet soil. So that might have to wait till later in the year. But just in general, this food plot needs to be screened better. Right now deer are using it and that's awesome. But during the hunting season, it's, it's pretty wide open. Um, and we kind of talked about right here at my box blind, all those willows that I planted kind of through this brush here. This brush is just kind of a, hopefully a little bit of a makeshift fence to just help the willows grow up through it and help the deer not browse it. But things are greening up now, but when the leaves fall, um, this is the view toward my house and it's also wide open. So I. I just see a lot of deer that just skirt the edge of the food plot. They kind of work back along there, circle around. Um, they just don't feel comfortable coming into this during hunting season. So I need to screen it better. I need to brush this blind in better. I need to not hunt this blind quite as much, even though it does have, it's got good access. Um, I just think I hunt a little too much in this for, you know, comfortable hunts or just hunts where I want to get out in the woods and just sit and watch. Um, I need to, I need to make some better stands for, for that. So that in a nutshell are my top three priorities. If I can get those done, I've got plenty of other stuff to work on. Um, but that is the main goals for 2020. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. If you did, please hit that like button below Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. I'm going to keep the updates coming as we keep working out here. Have a great weekend. Be safe. And remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.